Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to build an in-game map. Go to the risen one and it's that map for some reason. Alright, so let's start with the basics here. Give me one of these. And we're going to need one of these. Let me trigger this. We're going to trigger two bullions. This will set it to true. And this will set it to false. Copy that. is in every single uh, module. Now we gotta put a second bully in. This one's just deactivated. Now we gotta put a second one in. Add new. So it's gonna be bully in one, and then we're gonna cancel it with that. Let's change this to um, user input one. Those are the X button, so that way. But this activates with the Y button, so that way we don't activate it twice. New. Let's up with that. So we put one. We're doing this for every single module. done here we should be all set up yes we are okay so now let's grab a grid room and let's build our map now we had eight rooms back there this is going to be our layout so there's eight of these so we're going to build an eight room map Same basically. There we go. Change the color to black. Nope, we don't want that there. We want that right here.
good enough. So there's our map. Let's go ahead and set it up. this turn. Let's do green. I did red last time for the menu system. I tested false. Back to normal. Make sure it's black. And all changed. It will test itself. Every single one of these. Change the color. Yeah, the reason why we're doing all of these, by the way, so that you know which room you're in, is you can just build a map easily and have it just, you know, not put anything there, but. If you want to have it so that when you activate a switch, it'll show you where you're at in your map. That way you know where you're going. It's true. Yes, it is. Is it false? Otherwise, I'd get lost pretty easily. Seven, almost there. We are almost there. We just gotta do every single one of these so that we know where we're at. Yeah, this comes in handy for bigger maps to where you don't know, you know, where you can get lost easily. Be surprised how many people make those. Set up. False, it'll be black. And it'll test itself. Okay. 
Now let's get a camera in here. Zero, because that's the one we're use our camera for. in place so we can see our map nice and easily. Yeah, it looks good enough. Okay. Let's double check our work. We look good. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, so we walk up to this thing. That's where we're at. Go up to this one. That's where we're at. And now we're there. <clears throat> Alright, now I'm going to explain a couple things here real quick before I quit the video. Now, I set it up the way I did because you want to have a switch activate so that when you're in here, it'll activate both of these. And you want to do false for another button so you can get out of that at least. Now, you want to use true and false for this, because if you use a toggle switch for both of these, you can go in and out of the map, and it'll look bizarre when you're in there. You don't want that. Okay. Now, another thing you might be thinking is, well, Danny, why don't you just use this? Problem is, this is only a one-time use. These module tabs, they only work once, and that's it, and then they shut off automatically. And... There's no reset tab at all. Sure, there's one for the AI, but there's nothing for the tab itself. So you can't use it. I wish you could, because if you did, then you just push a button anywhere in the map and you can show where you're at, but it doesn't work. I tried that already. And these are good, so let's say like um, like the certain points of the map. You don't have to do every single room if you don't want to. You know, I'm just doing every single room so you see that it works. If you want to do it for a specific room, let's say like a certain uh, map room or something like that you can just put them in there and then when the player is ready they can easily just push the button and oh that's where I'm at okay and then they can move their way forward and you can even set it up to where um, you can use a different color to point to destination on the map so this is where you have to go oh now I know where I have to go okay just, just as an example Let's say like uh, like this room here is going to be the uh, special map room. Let's just say this one's it. Okay, you push the button. Let's look at the map. Oh, that's where I'm at. Okay, got it. No problem. But let's say like another example. Um, let's 
let's say like uh, let's see, was this five? I don't know why I was in this room. So let's say I go into this room, man. This is where I want to get my map at. Let's say um, I want to do two things. Let's say I want to pull my direction. It's the same scenario, by the way. You just set up a different boolean for that. Um, let's go ahead and grab a new boolean just to show this off. See, my destination is supposed to be here. Okay. So we gotta do a new one. Boolean nine. That's true. And we'll make this color let's say red. False, so I'll go back to black. And now I'll test it itself. We go to this one. Then we got a third one to it, unfortunately. So we got nine. There we go. So now if you want to make a destination for uh, where you want to go. Or you want to send the uh, the player to? You could do it this way also. And by the way, it's a lot easier to set it up this way. If you do it any other way, you're going to have to build like five, six maps in order to get it to run properly. So just build one map, set up the spots you want to have it activated, and then you're good to go. So now, if I activate this again. That's where I'm at. That's where I need to go. I can activate it again. Take a look at it. Of course, this one only activates that. If I activate this one, it won't show it. See? So, yeah, you can set this up in a lot of different ways. And with that being said, hope you all found this helpful and you all take care.